math stuff with a bunch of equations I don't understand. Moving on. Okay, so significant figures. Remember, there are different rules for adding and subtracting than there are for multiplying and dividing. You're not going to have this in your PowerPoint. The first chunk is just, we're doing a lot of reviews, so I'm just kind of blowing through the first part real quick so we can get it on a video. All right, adding and subtracting. When adding and subtracting, you count the numbers after the decimal point. Then whichever of your numbers has least numbers after the decimal point is the number of decimal points you get. That's hard to explain. Why well, don't we just show you some examples here. So here we go, 2.05423 plus 3 equals 5. Because here you have 5 digits after the decimal. Here you have 1 or 0, so your answer gets 0. Again, same with here. You have 2, you have 3, your answer gets 2. You have 1, you have 5, your answer gets 1. That's adding and subtracting. So give it a shot. Real quick. All right, not bad. Try this one. Oh, what happened? What? You add those together, you get 24.65. But you don't get any numbers after your decimal place, so you have to round it up to the whole number of 25. So the answer is 25. Two, five, send. Give it a shot. All right. Now multi multiplying and dividing a little different. Now it's the total number of numbers that you get, not the decimal places. So four times twelve would normally be forty-eight, but since you only get one digit here, you have to round to the first digit, which is fifty. Um, now, I know this is hard to tell. Is that one sig fig? Is that two sig figs? That's why I would prefer you to write that as 5 times 10 to the 1. Okay, 11 times 2.71 does not equal exactly 41. It probably equals 40.79 or something like that. But you only get two sig figs, right? Two here, three here. Your smallest number is two, so you get two. So you got to round it to two numbers. Again, 182 time, divided by 2 is 81, 91, but you only get one digit, so you got to round your first digit, so you're, you're just 90. Let's try one. So, 11.2 times 3 is 33.6, but you only get one digit, so you got to round your first digit, so you round the 3, keep it a 3 because... 33, right, is not a 5 or greater. So since it's 33, not 35, you keep it at 30. So your answer would be D. Again, I would prefer 3 times 10 to the 1. But for right now, 30 works. All right, try this one. So, smart board mode, activate. <laughs> All right, so, 0. Point nine one four times one point one one. If you did that out, that would equal what? One point zero one four five something around there. So you only get three sig figs. So you only get these. It's 1.01. .01. If this 4 was a 5 or higher, it would be 1.02. But it's not, so it's 1.01. .01. So everybody type in 1. Okay, almost everybody, after I told you the answer, got it right. Alright, scientific notation. Got three bullets here, so I got three things. One, easier to write very large and very small numbers, right? 40 bajillion would take forever to write out by hand. One, because I don't know how many zeros bajillion has. Um, secondly, the most importantly, I think, is it makes it easier to show the correct number of significant figures, right? So like the number 500, 500. Five zero zero. 
Is that one sig fig? Is that two sig figs? Is it three sig figs? It's hard to tell. But with scientific notation, you can say five times 10 to the third second, and that'll tell you if that's one sig fig. 5.0 times 10 to the second is two sig figs, and 5.00 times 10 to the second would be three sig figs. And then lastly, um, I needed to have three bullets, and I didn't have anything else to put there. So that's what happens. That was really dumb. You know really dumb? I'm coming to the class late every day. All right. I'm coming every day. So, so I did the should do it in the dismal. So, here we go. Four bullets and then the fourth. Means you're going to move positive four. You're going to move to the right three places. If it's a positive number, that means you're bigger than one. If it's a negative number, it means you're smaller than one. So your decimal was right here, but you move it one, two, three, four. Again, your decimal was right here, but you move it one, two, three, four. I'm going kind of quick through this because I'm assuming that for most of you this is kind of review. So if you still need help with this, come and see me or whatever, we can work on it. All right, so what is this number? All right, nice work, guys. Mine just says Good job, guys. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Conversions. Conversions can get a little tricky sometimes. But luckily, I have created a three-step process that makes them a little easier. You follow these three steps, it's going to be cake. Step number one, information, times, and align. Step two, put the units that you want to get to on top, the units you want to get rid of on the bottom. And then step three, you plug in your numbers, you plug in the conversions, and you do the math. So let's take a peek here. An example, 27 inches equals how many feet? Well, let's look. First step, information times in a line. Second step, you put what you want to get to, you want to get to feet on the top, you want to get from inches, inches goes on the bottom. Third step, you plug in your numbers. So 27 inches times one foot is equal to 12 inches. So you put one foot, 12 inches, do the math, 2.25 feet. But again, you only get two sig figs, so it needs to be rounded to 2.3 feet. I have no idea. Maybe my balls are dying or something. No. Yes. <laughs> At least you know. Oh, let's do it. Okay, 12 divided by 3 is 4, but you get 3 sig figs, 1, 2, 0, right? 3 sig figs, so it's 4.00. The answer is C. Everybody plug in C. That's okay, not so hot. No, it's not. It's 6.0, right? It, so, 72 inches is 6 feet, but 2 sig figs means your answer is 6.0. So everybody should type in 6.0 send. The mole. We're going to talk about this a little bit. Here we go. So, if you look at periodic table, she's carbon 12 would have a mass of 12. That means that one atom has a mass of 12 AMU, atomic mass units. An AMU is 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. That means that carbon that has 12 AMUs would have a mass of 1.99 times 10 to the negative 26 kilograms. That is hard numbers to work with. It's confusing. It's no fun at all. So. Our favorite guacamole 11 scientist, Avogadro, came up with a way to help us out. He said, let's not think about things in terms of one atom. 